In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how the SPTAG solution works from a very broad overview perspective. It's no details or anything, it's just to you know, get a feel for how the solution actually works. Uh, what I have here is the standard team site set up with the sample data installed uh, as part of the SPTAG solution. Uh, what it basically is, is uh, I have uh, a content list which is the, the journal issues and, and the topics uh, that those issues um, are about. And then I have on the front page here uh, a tag cloud which basically shows all the tags that are in use. And, and uh, as you can see, the, the size of the, the tags increase the more the item or the tag is actually in use. So the delegate controls, which were used primarily in the first edition, or the first issue is just used in one issue, and, uh, and the SP query, which is used in all three, uh, all three issues, are, are larger than the delegate control. If you go into the journal issues list here, you can see the topics uh, column here, uh, which contains all the all the tags. And then when you go into one of the uh, one of the issues, you can see the the topics here, and you can. When you edit the item, you get checkboxes for each of the tags that are actually uh, available. Now, to find out uh, which tags are available, uh, you need to go to the home tag and view all site content, and then go into the tags list. Now you can add tags here uh, or, or create new ones. For instance, if I want to uh, add a new tag for the uh, next issue, which will be revolve around uh, SharePoint Designer workflows, I can add the SharePoint Designer. And then I can add uh, workflow. And if I now go into the journal issues, I can create a new issues, which will be, well, I'm not sure of the title yet, so I'll just call it issue four. Then you can tag it with SharePoint Designer and workflows, and it'll probably be some lists involved, um, and a link to an address, which of course is not yet done uh, at all. Uh, when we hit OK now, you'll see that on the front page the new tags have appeared, SharePoint Designer and, and Workflow here. Um, and, and when you click one of these tags, you'll basically be shown the content that have been tagged with, with that issue. And this, this works uh, across all the, all the webs inside the entire site collection. You can, if you want, uh, filter this uh, using the, oh, sorry, uh, using the, the edit page mode and, and go into edit the properties of this web part you can make some some simple changes here and just you know uh, define the the style sheets been that's going to be used and, and the list name if you want to filter it and just display uh, tags tagged content from uh, from a certain list